Hi guys, it's Nikki here from the Eat Well Project again and today we're going to be cooking fried rice. I'm going to be using the cook's cooking step-by-step -step cookbook but don't worry if you haven't got that book guys, we are going to go through all the ingredients. Now what I've made serves four um, but you can add lots and lots of more vegetables if you want it and if you haven't got the vegetables I've got, don't forget you can use whatever you want guys. Doesn't it look absolutely delicious? So before we get started on our fried rice, what have we got to do first guys? We've got to wash these things so they're nice and clean for us to cook. So let's have a look at the ingredients for our fried rice. So first of all we've got two tablespoons of sunflower oil. Now it doesn't really matter what oil you've got. Um, you can use rapeseed oil or vegetable oil. I wouldn't use olive oil, there's quite a taste to that. Or you could use fried uh, fry light if you prefer, you'll need quite a bit of that though. Um, you need, and this recipe is very much about possibly using up leftovers. So if you've got some leftover rice, you need 500 grams of cooked rice. Now if you want to do this from fresh, you need about 200 grams of dried rice to start with and you need to cook that off. Now I've got brown rice because it's a lot better for us. So if you can, get the brown rice, it keeps us fuller for longer. The other thing to remember about rice guys is it can be, um, can give us food poisoning so we need to treat it with great respect. Once you've cooked it, cool it very rapidly and get it refrigerated. So cool it by running it over cold water and then get it into the fridge. You shouldn't allow it to be out of the fridge for more than 90 minutes but get it in the fridge within 10-15 minutes you'll be fine before you reheat it. Only reheat it once. So then we've got a red pepper. Now I'm going to show you in a minute a little bit of knife skills. I've diced some in there finely, but I'm going to slice that one. So red pepper, if you've only got a yellow or a green, pop that in instead. I've got 125 grams of frozen peas. Um, I've got 125 grams of tinned sweet corn, but if you've only got frozen sweet corn, that's absolutely fine. I've got two eggs which I've beaten, which are going to go into the fried rice. I've got four spring onions. Now if you haven't got any spring onions guys, um, a red onion or an onion will do, just put them in a bit earlier because these don't take quite so long to cook. There's your spring onion and I use it right up to there, I use all of it, even the green bit. Um, and then I've got um, soy sauce, I've got the light soy sauce, if you've only got dark that's fine but generally if you're doing a vegetarian dish you want the light soy sauce if you can, two tablespoons of that and then I've got uh, my bean sprouts of 250, sorry, 200 grams of bean sprouts. Now the important thing about bean sprouts guys is that we shouldn't eat them raw because they are associated with food, food borne illness especially with people with a low immune system. Because of the way they're grown, um, they can um, cause things like Listeria, E. coli and Salmonella. So be really careful with those. So let's little do a little bit of knife skills. Now I've chopped these, but I thought also for a change we'd slice them. And I'm gonna show you how to do the claw. And the claw is where we try and keep our fingers safe. So we, we do like a claw, keep our thumb tucked in and we press down. Then we get our knife and we do nice thin slices. Now you can see my fingers are pressing into that and so I'm not going to slice my fingers off. So when I get there I move them and then I can slice again. It keeps it steady on the board and it stops me from slicing my fingers off if I'm doing a claw. And I think they look a bit long guys so I'm going to use what we call the bridge now. So put the knife in first, bridge my hand over to steady it on the board and through there like that. So that is the claw method and I'll show you the bridge later on again. Okay, so I've got a wok warming on a very high heat, guys. Now, if you haven't got a wok, don't worry, a big frying pan is just as good. Now, this is going to spattle a bit because I've got the pan really hot. So here we go. So you need to get the pan really, really hot before you put the oil in, if you can. Now the great thing about this recipe, guys, is that any leftovers you've got, you can pop in and put more veg in. They really are good for us, particularly when we're trying to get off at least our five portions a day. Um, so the first ingredients to add, and that's beginning to smoke, so I'm gonna pop it in. I'm gonna pop in my pepper my first ingredient so in that goes be careful get an adult to help you here because it's going to be very hot 
So we'll just push those into the oil so they start to cook. I'll just turn that down just a fraction. And then I'm going to pop in my rice. Break it all in. Just move it around a moment. Now can you hear that guys? I hope you can hear my voice. So give that a good stir around. And then the next thing we're going to put in is the frozen peas. So in they go. Now this takes about two to three minutes. I'm going to give it three, just to give it a good cook. Okay, so that's had the full three minutes, guys. Now, if you like it um, less crispy, give it a little bit longer. The most important thing is that we're reheating this rice. Um, so what we're going to do now is push it all to one side. I did turn the pan down a little bit as well. It was getting a little bit hot. And you also need to stir all the time. So your beaten eggs, two of them, pop them in. And let them, let them just sit there for about 10 seconds till it sets starts to set so let's move it through yeah that's good so now what we're going to do is we're going to quickly move that through all the rice okay break it up and make sure everywhere gets a good coating of that lovely egg that's our protein so this is really good also for vegetarians nice and healthy lots of vegetables a really good one pot meal okay so we've moved all that around so what we're now going to add is our sweet corn so in that goes quickly keep moving it around and we're going to add our spring onions and we're going to add our bean sprouts give those a really good stir around first Keep everything moving all the time, that's important. And then the final ingredient is the light, two tablespoons of the light soy sauce. In that goes. Right, now this takes about another two to three minutes. Keep moving it. Okay, so I've given that between two and three minutes and I think that's ready. So shall we have a taste? So look at this guys, look at that beautiful colour in there as well. So let's have a taste, that's the most important isn't it? So here we go. Be a little bit hot so we need to be careful and I want to get a lot of all that lovely stuff on. So let's see. Wow it's hot. Wow. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow guys, as usual that is such a lovely dish, you really need to try that. Mm. Anyway. I think it's about time the cameraman tried some. Here we go, Michael.